Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack, and welcome back to the Daily Challenge for Super Mario Bros. 35. Uh, this is January 13th, it is part number 13. Uh, I, I took a look at the uh, Nintendo Twitter for the upcoming special battle. I gotta say, I, I can't wait. This is gonna be a bloodbath. Uh, but we'll get into that when it's the weekend, when I can actually play it. So, for today... Uh, not much uh, to really change. I think I'm gonna try choosing a different level just to see if maybe I can get something else to come up that we haven't really seen yet. Uh, but I think we've seen most of everything. I I don't think we've seen seven one. So you know we'll try adding seven one into the mix. See if we can't get that. But I'm gonna try to just get this going uh, right quick, just into the game. Not not wasting a lot of time with a lot of the prep work and that. We're just getting right into it. But yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty excited for this special battle. Uh, and hopefully today, uh, I don't have to do two games again, like like yesterday. We can just do one and done. And, you know, it'll, it'll be a win, so then I won't... Then I'll be like, okay, cool, we got a win, and that's it. That's good enough. But I don't know. If I, again, <laughs> if I lose right away, like I kind of have done in some of these early videos, um, you know, I don't mind doing another game because, I mean, if I lose in the first, like, two minutes, not too exciting for you. Uh, it's just, I'm kind of unde undecided on whether or not I want to actually keep it in the video or not, but it, it almost, it almost feels like if I don't, it's like, I don't know, it's a bit dishonest. I know it sounds, sounds weird. I mean, how would you know, right? But that's, that's where it feels dishonest, like, recording a video as if nothing has happened, where it obviously already has. I wish, I don't know, I, I wish there was a way to really do it again without being so awkward about it, but I don't think there really is a way, so I guess if I just lose early, that's it, and, you know, if I lose and it's like five people left or something, then we can just kind of spectate till the end, like I've been doing in some of the earlier parts. Uh, but like I mentioned uh, in the few previous videos, I was talking about other battle royales I've played. And I'm still very curious as to what I'm going to do with the series once Mario 35 goes offline. I, like I said, my hope is it doesn't, and they rebrand it into something else. Uh, like, I would pay for it if I if I had to. I mean, I'd rather not, but, <laughs> but I would if it came down to it. There'd probably be a lot less players. Yeah, the idea that this is free, like, you can play this right now if you have, if you have a Nintendo Switch. And you have the online, like, this is a free game. Like, there, there, there's no other strings attached. I mean, again, you have to have the online service. But if you're already, like, paying for it because you play, like, Smash Bros. or Mario Kart or something like that, that's not really a big deal. So... So, like, it's just, like, a free experience that you can have. And I'm not advertising for Nintendo or anything like that, but it's something fun to give a try. And I know I've seen some people are like, you know, this game's only fun after, like, one or two games, and it gets repetitive real fast. But it's just, it's just not that for me. Like, if you enjoy Battle Royales, I feel like you're, you're fine with that mentality, because a lot of Battle Royales do have that repetitive nature to them. You know, you're going to the same areas using the same weapons or doing the same strategies uh, and like yeah it does have that but they also have that exciting like end game factor where like you don't know what the other players are doing you don't know what they have um, you know where they are and it just changes up the strategy at the end so yeah a lot of the pre-game of this is a lot of the same because like I said this is free so you're gonna see a lot of players in here probably playing for the first time low levels picking one 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 two but then once it gets into the end game then it's 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 not even the same anymore it's a completely different game because now all the high level players that are probably left you know they they have the the difficult courses um also five one by the way but you know they have the they have the difficult courses in here uh they have some of the crazy enemies and then the the game dynamic just changes completely uh, that last game we played, we had a bunch of Lakitu's all over the screen, like, it was insanity. Um, that's not the only enemy that can do that, I mean, that is one aspect that I've seen more than, uh, than most, because, like, Lakitu is a very tough to deal with enemy in this game. Uh, normal, I mean, normally Lakitu sucks, 
but the fact that in this game, uh, Lakitu can basically just flood the screen uh, is, is pretty insane, um, and that's just a lot to deal with, which normally wouldn't be the case. Whereas, uh, for most of these enemies, like Goombas and stuff, like, they don't fly, so, uh, they can only spawn in so many spots, so it's not so, it's like, whatever, a bunch of Goombas, you know, like, that's just free time. Koopas, same thing, you can just kick them, get a bunch of time. But then when you start getting some crazy enemies, like, you know, you get like five Bowsers in a row, a bunch of Lakitus, fish flying at you. Uh, bullet Bills, randomly. I've, I've seen some pretty crazy games with Bullet Bills just going nuts. Like, it, like you don't get that in the early game of this, and that's what I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, well, it feels like the same thing over and over again. They haven't gotten into those games where, you know, all the enemies start swarming like crazy, and it's just, the dynamic of each level has changed. 1-1 one, one becomes dangerous, 1-2 one, becomes dangerous. I mean, not maybe as, as much as other levels just on their own, but they they certainly become a, a way that like, oh hey, my game can end here. Like I'm not I'm not guaranteed to win in one one all anymore. Because now I have like thirty Lakitus on the screen at all times. <laughs> so it just changes that. Like see now I'm getting a Bowser in the game and I have like what three people targeting me right now? So now we <laughs> Well, we did have three people targeting me until I bumped my head off the ceiling and fell in the pit. So, that sucks. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens too, where it's just like, well, your game is just over. Well, let's see, uh, I only got six. I, it is the top five now. All right, well, I said I would spectate at this point, so I might as well. What do we got here? We got 70 M3. We got Fembot. It's just Austin Powers. We got Retro Gamer. And Big Riz 89. Right, who's doing the best right now? Let's see. Yeah, probably this player here. Probably the 70 M3. So we're going to spectate them for a little bit. Uh, this is exactly where I just died. Uh, I guess they're not going to do the same thing that I did, which was just bump my head off the ceiling. Man, that was really dumb. I can't believe I did that. I just can't get a game where I can just play one and done and just win, like, recently. It's, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's entirely been my fault the past few days. I just jump into pits. I did that on the press left one. I did that yesterday on the first match, and I did it today. Like, I've been my own worst enemy three times in a row now. So, that's just how it goes. I'm very curious as to, like, what was coming up. I think this is... I, I want to say this player is the furthest in the rotation, and they're doing pretty fine. Unless there's another player spectating them right now, too. See, oh yeah, I haven't really talked about this in the spectate mode, but if you look in the bottom left, uh, just under their screen, there's a little uh, eyeball with a number. That's how many players are spectating that player right now. So. So yeah. Nobody. Except for me. Oh, there was another player that... Okay, so there's somebody else kind of doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, just kind of looking around. So we had a 2-1 coming up. Oh, whoa, there's a... What's that? Is that a 4-3? Oh, boy. That, that, that's not a fun one. You don't like to see that. 4-3 is uh, pretty rough. A lot of the dash 3 levels are pretty tough, which, which gets me pretty excited for the weekend. Uh, again, I'll get into that more when we get there, but... Yeah, this feels like one of those matches where I definitely would have been fine, but unfortunately, when you fall into the pit, that is it. It's kind of, I don't know, I guess that's, we could, that could be a saying on here now. Dumb rhyme. Yeah, it's it's funny watching other players because, like, it's it's so much different than how I play. Like, I just like to go fast and try to collect as many coins and... And, you know, that ends up being my downfall, I guess, is just moving so fast. You don't have to move fast all the time. But I just feel like that's the best thing. Like, I feel like this player really did not need to do that. Like, they're trying to get timer, I guess, right now. But I think they're really fine for timer, especially the level they're on right now. Like, they're avoiding all the coins. So I, I really can't speak for them. So oh, we got 70 M3 and we got Retro Gamer still left here. What's, what's the coin difference now, now that they're in red time? Oh, they're at about the same amount of coins, but 
Uh, 70 M3 here has about a hundred seconds more. I just wish there was an easy way to spectate both uh, Cuz then that would be I mean, I guess I can I can see what they're doing in the bottom left It's really not so difficult. That's what's awesome about uh, This compared to Tetris 99 is I can very clearly see what the other player is doing right now like there is There's like no lag whatsoever in what they're doing. I think there technically is a tiny amount but it's it's basically nothing the, the only thing i wish i could see that you can't is the timer but you know if you could see that then that'd kind of be a huge advantage so it's probably why you can't see that it, i think this player just may not know where everything is like they're not getting the star man you know they're not getting the uh the vines but they're doing fairly well or maybe they're just panicking now because now they're in red timer i'm not sure honestly um, it's interesting watching players that maybe aren't as familiar with locations of items uh, and and areas like what they do um, that again I think as I mentioned in an earlier video one of the best things you can do um, that has nothing to do with skill is just kind of like get familiar with things where things are where the items are um, where the bonus areas are because that that has absolutely nothing to do with skill whatsoever. That's just uh, how you can handle the game. Like, oh, I know there's a power up here, so I got this level coming up. I might not need to roulette now because I can just get this block here. Or, hey, I'm low on coins. I can go down to this to this uh, bonus area, or I can go up to this coin heaven. Like, there's there's lots of things that you can do outside of just being good at the game. I feel like, yeah, I had a hunch that they were doing a lot better on timer because they, they've they been killing enemies and this, this player here has been going kind of slow, which unfortunately, once you get to the red timer, you can't really be slow anymore. You have to kind of constantly be building your timer back up. You gotta, you gotta be killing enemies. Uh, you know, you get through the levels as fast as you can because there's timer on the flagpole and the time stops at the end of the level. You gotta try to find those bonus areas. So you gotta do your best. Like, this player here's gotta get moving right now. Honestly. I'm very curious to see if maybe... They... Oh, no, that's a pit. So they're done. <laughs> that's it. Alright. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I got sixth. Yay. But next time, I'll be back with another 35-player battle. And then after that, it'll be the weekend. So depending on how much I like the special battle, we might play it a few more times than just once. So... Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.